and Barrett Laundromat have too. Um, what we're working on today is we've got a, an additional um, front access change machine that I want to install, but I don't want it bolted out on the wall sticking out where people can bump into it and get in the way. So what we're going to do is uh, mount it back in the wall. Normally on a rear mount machine, just take it around here. See, as they, they sit back in there, and there's a, there's a kind of a flange at the front to cover the hole. On the surface mount, or the these can be mounted on the base as well, they're just a square box. So what we're going to do is we're, uh, we're going to mount it back in the hole, and we'll sit it back in um, about an inch. And then I've got some, uh, some quarter round. This is a plastic PVC type quarter round that will sit in just kind of up to the edge like that so it'll finish it off once it's in and it will still be a front access so we'll still get to it in the store but um, it's going to sit flush to the wall so people can't bang into it, kids can't hit their heads on it, etc. So what we need to do is uh, we've got to secure it like we do in the other change machine and uh, the way we do that is we drill some holes through the side got my hole cut here. Uh, we're in the inside of the wall right now and you know got a good solid frame around here so what we're gonna do is drill some holes in it we're gonna leg it right straight into this on each side and then at the back side we're also gonna put some uh, some angle on there just to uh, spread that load out around the wall so um, if somebody decides to brine or whatever it's gonna be that much diff more difficult to get out. So I'll show you a few of the pictures as we go along and uh, some of the finished product but this one's a little dusty right now. It is it is used from another location. It needs a couple little repairs, but it still works, so we'll get it up and operational. It's all mounted in now. So the ran the lag bolts in around each side. Pulled uh, some of the parts out of the inside of the change machine just to make sure they're out of the way. They're not that hard. You just disconnect a couple of wires, pull them out. Um, just take a second to look at it, and you can see how they're assembled. So pulled that out. Ran the lag bolts in all the way around. And then just put some quarter round trim and a little bit of caulking around the edges on this tile board. This needs a little touch up on the paint. But you see what I what I do on here is I'll put that that tile board. You can get it at any big box store. Home Depot, Lowe's, Menards, whatever. And uh, it's really good. It's easy to clean. This one got a couple of scuff marks on it just with some issues going on. But it uh, covers up the drywall. You don't have to worry about carts banging holes in it. And it just gives a nice backing to that. Again, you don't get fingerprints on it like you would with a lot of paint there. You're getting a lot of traffic around this. And then, uh, you know, the trim around there, I try and use the, the plastic trim. It's like a PVC trim. And it just touches this up with a little bit of, I'll tap those in and just put a little bit of uh, caulking on there. Put some caulking around the corners, the piece of wood on top. Um, I ran a little short on the stuff on the side. I had a piece up here, so it's a little bigger and had a little bigger hole up here anyways. So I got that filled up. A little bit of caulking on it will touch up the paint. And uh, just back away here. As you can see, it blends right in. You know, it looks like it's uh, meant to be there. It's if if we had it mounted on the wall, it would have stuck out. You know, probably almost to about here. People would have been banging their shoulders on it. It's high enough. Kids would have banged their head on it and stuff. Similar to the the soap dispensers back here. Uh, given the opportunity again, I'd get the dimensions and I'd cut a hole and recess it back in. And I mentioned before, I may do that with that one as well. Just gotta figure out what my final plan is on the change machines before I do that. But this one fits in good here now and it's really convenient for people who need to add a bit more time onto the dryers. And you know the other one it's it's back over that side. Which you know is a great place for it. It's easily seen from the road. And uh, I can actually see those red lights if I'm driving by on the road. So that's a good spot for that and being a bigger machine with the, the rear access that's a great place for it. But you know, people needed a few more quarters. It was a long walk, walk around. So now they've got another change machine right here. It'll help out for the people working. Just even if they're just coming in to dry, they can put their stuff in, get the change, and go right away. So again, just you know, secure it in there. Build a good frame around it. Put the lag bolts in it. This thing's solid to the wall now. It's not going anywhere. There's uh, you know, if somebody's going to pry it out, there's really nothing to pry on. There's nothing to get into. I mean, if they're headed in. You know, if they're going to come up with the right tools, you can get anything. But that's uh, going to keep most of, the, most of the petty thieves out of the way. And again, it looks pretty good on the wall when it's all done. So there's this and more information at laundromathowto.com. 
And check out the podcast, laundromathowto.com, the podcast, on iTunes and all the other major media. We'll talk to you later on, and let me know if you have any more questions or any concerns or any items you'd like me to cover.